The Minister of Solid Minerals, Delia Lake, has assured that efforts are underway to rescue victims of the recent mine pit collapse in Shiroro Local Council of the State. Our correspondent, Chinami Bamae, reports. The Minister of Solid Minerals Development is in Niger State on a condolence visit to the government and people over the ongoing rescue operations following the tragic mine pit collapse in Galkogu. He emphasized the federal government's dedication to ensuring that all trapped individuals are safely rescued. As is practicable. In fact, our desire and objective is to bring out every single individual alive to go back to their families. And we pray that we will be able to achieve that and bring out everybody alive. The minister also pointed out that the extent of casualties could have been mitigated if the mining company had had aid with necessary safety measures and technologies. He emphasized the importance of ensuring safety protocols to prevent such incidents in the future. So, but the heavy downpour that caused this particular incident was unavoidable. What was avoidable was the technology and gadgets to be put into the mine pits to ensure a reduction in on impact surgery that all applicants must do before approval but the these EIAs are shared between or supervised by the Ministry of Environment that's the Federal Ministry of Environment and then the Ministry of Solid Mineral is informed that this had been done we are going to rejig that arrangement such that Solid Minerals officials would also be on the spot to ensure or validate the accuracy of whatever information that is supplied via the EIA submitted. We are still searching. The unfortunate thing is that there is no inventory of the people that were at the site at that particular point in time. Some are the real miners are working for the mining company. Some are artisanal miners picking from the debris. So this is, uh, is a huge uh, disaster. Accompanied by Governor Umoru Bago, Minister Alake visited the victims receiving treatment at the IDB Specialized Hospital in Mina. Both officials extended their condolences to those affected and their families and reassured the community of the government's support. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina. Chenemi joins me now with more updates on this story. What's the current situation with the rescue efforts at the mining site? Chenami, I'm asking for updates on the rescue efforts at the mining site. All right. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you for having me tonight. Um, rescue operations is still ongoing, but uh, it appears at the moment that no good, um, no positive result is coming out. Um, I heard that um, the entire area is beginning to even stink, so it's possible that... Um, or it's most likely not possible to get anybody out right now because they've tried all that they could with the various instruments that they have on ground. And the visit of the minister today just um, shows, um, brought a lot of support to the people, you know, uh, I'm showing some form of concern from the federal government. Uh, but like he rightly said, efforts are still ongoing, but there's nothing yet um, apart from the people that were in the hospital that the minister visited today. Uh, no any form of rescue has been made to this moment. Precisely what efforts are now being made to uh, cater to those who have been rescued? Um, okay, first they are in, a pro they, they've been moved from their locality to, to Mina, the state capital, and they've actually been receiving treatment in one of the, uh, let, me, let me say, a specialized hospital in Mina, uh, that's a, a good effort from the government to ensure that they get adequate care. And like the minister has said, and with the gov governor's commitment that their families, uh, that they will be properly taken care of to ensure that uh, at least abuse are covered and, and, and thereafter. But, but I think going forward, it's about how to ensure that these things do not happen, how to mitigate such occurrences. You know, the minister was talking about getting and an, ensuring that minors and companies get environmental impact assessments and then ensuring that um, it is something that the ministry itself will supervise mm -hmm. to ensure that all the all the proper 
uh, um, procedures are duly followed. And I think if this is done, um, it will go a long way to, to mitigate such occurrences. Tell me, Bamaya, live for us in Niger State. Coming up on TV News.